Hello, eighth grade students. So this is our final week together as a class. What we're going to be focusing on today is how to complete the assignment that is labeled eighth grade memory book. So what you guys are going to do, you're going to go to clever.pgcps.org and you should see a screen that looks like this. And then you're going to click log in with Active Directory. You're going to type in your username and password. Again, your username should be um, the first part of your PGCPS email address without the at pgcps.org part. And your password is just your email password. I'm gonna click sign in. Then once you get to Clever, you're going to click on Miss Woods. Then you should see these different resources. And today we're going to be clicking on Book Creator. Once you sign into Book Creator, what you guys will see will look something like this. So it'll have my libraries and then it should give you an option to join a library. So once you click join a library, you are going to enter the code that I have placed in Google Classroom for you. And then once you enter that code, you're going to click join library. Once you are in there, you're going to see this book that says US History Time Capsule and it says section 83 and 84. What you guys are going to do is create a page for this book that we are creating. It's just a memory book of what you learned. So I'm going to click into the book and the first page is the cover page. You don't have to do anything to that. So I'm going to use this arrow over here and go to the next page. Now this gives us the directions of what you guys are going to be doing for this assignment. It says add your own page to the book. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. Then you can decorate it in any way you'd like. Make sure that it's school appropriate. And then you're going to add your first and last name either at the top of the page or at the bottom of the page. Once you decorate it and add your name, then you're going to include two to three things that you learned in U.S. history this year. You must be as specific as possible. Look at the example on the following page for more details and you cannot use my example. So here's the example that I created. So I designed this page to look like this. I designed everything and you can do that too. And I'm going to show you in just a second. Uh, just so you guys know what you're going to see on the screen, what you see here is three different things that I learned in U.S. history. So the very first thing that you see down here at the bottom is my name. I even added a picture. You can do the same too if you like. And then I have the first thing that I learned. I found a picture. I'm going to show you how you can do that. And it says, I learned that George Washington captured the British troops at the Battle of Yorktown. So that's very specific. I tell you exactly what it is that I learned. Then I found a picture of a magnifying glass and a picture of a diary. And then I put, I learned that an example of a primary source is a diary. Last but not least, I found a picture of a gavel and then I put the Fifth Amendment protects me from self-incrimination. So that's what you guys are going to be doing. You're going to think about everything that you've learned this school year. Hopefully you did bring your journals home and you can just look through your journal pages and find something that you learned. What not to do? So this is an example of what you're not going to want to write because you're not going to get full credit. So it says, I learned about the American Revolution. I learned about primary sources and I learned about the Bill of Rights. These are not specific examples and it does not actually explain what you learned. So instead, you need to be very specific with what you guys have learned. So when you say I learned about the American Revolution, my thought process is, well, what exactly did you learn? Tell me a fact, an actual fact that you learned about the American Revolution. Tell me an actual fact about the Bill of Rights. I want to make sure that you guys know that you are not to plagiarize. So you're using notes in your own words. It should not come straight from the Internet. Miss Woods will know if you do that. Now I'm going to show you how you can actually design your own page. So I'm going to click next. And what you guys are going to do, you're just going to click 
clicking next until you find a blank page that looks like this. Um, if you see that someone has already started typing on this page, you can just keep going until you see another blank page. All right, so in order to make some changes, there's a few things that we can do to this page. The first thing I can do is change the background. So in case I don't wanna use this gray image with these lightning bolts, I can go to this eye up here and I can choose one of these backgrounds. So I can choose any of these, I can choose these, and then there's other backgrounds that you can go to. So let's say I wanted to use this background right here. I can click it and it changes the background. Another thing that I can do is change the layout of the page so I can add panels and I can choose one of these options. You don't have to add pan panels, but I did add panels in the example that I used. So you could add, let's say you wanna do three like that. So it adds the panels for you and you can add stuff inside of there. So let's say I wanted to add a picture of a flower. I know we didn't really talk about flowers in this class, but just to be, give you an example. I can click on that image icon and then it's going to give me the option to search for an image on Google. That's going to be the quickest and fastest way for you guys to insert images. I'm going to Google flower. I'm going to hit the search icon. So I select the picture I want to use and then I click select. And it fills up the image. I can click these little arrows right here to kind of adjust the where the picture will be inside of that panel. Let's say I wanted to add some writing to it. So there's different ways that we can do it. I can click the plus icon and I can either add these little speech bubbles. I can add these different text icons. I can even add stickers or I can just add regular text. So I can click which one I wanna use and then it's gonna give me the option to actually type what I want to put. And click done and then there is my text I can click on this little green circle and rotate the text around uh, I can adjust the position of the text by dragging those little blue icons if I press the eye while I have this highlighted see this blue box around the text that lets me know that I have that selected I can click the eye and I can adjust the size By dragging that, I can make it centered. I can make it bold. I can also change the font using that. And I can also change the color. Let's see, I wanna make that white. So those are some of the options that you can do with the text. And again, you can drag your text around so let's say I wanna add another picture to this. I can just click this little picture icon and then I can search for something else. Let's say I wanna search for mm, the White House. And now I can click the image of the White House, click select, and now the White House is loaded into that panel. Again, I can adjust it. I can adjust the size of the White House or drag it, dra adjust where I place it like that. And then I can add additional stuff to it. Let's see, I wanna add a shape to this. I can add a shape. I can adjust the size of the shape by dragging my mouse either up or down or side to side. And then while the box is selected, I can click the eye and I can make changes to that box. So I can change the color of it. And then if I click in it, I can also type in that box. Like that. And I can put it here. That is how you guys will be adding text and images and shapes and what have you uh, to your 
page. You guys should be able to master these tools very quickly because it doesn't take a whole lot in order to be able to make changes to the page. I'm really excited to see what you guys are able to come up with. And I'm also super excited to uh, see what you guys have remembered from everything that we've learned in U.S. history. Please make sure that you only edit your page. If you see that someone has already started to edit a page, don't make any changes to their page. Only work on the page that you have. But that's all for this lesson. Hopefully you guys understand. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.